Hi guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at how we can color grade from our normal photo to a dark skin photo. This is Twisted Creative. I like to be my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. This is the model we are going to be using. We are going to be transforming this image to extreme dark skin tone. We we'll click on the adjustment layer icon here and choose hue and saturation. So in this drop down, we have master here. Then we'll click on the drop down to choose red. We we'll desaturate to like minus 20 thereabouts. Reduce the lightness of this red to minus 17 or minus 19 thereabouts. Let's say minus 20 also. Let's go with minus 20. Then I think we are okay with that. Click on adjustment layer again and choose black and white adjustment layer. Then in here, we are not going to do anything. It's just for us to go to blend mode and change it to multiply. We can change the opacity to between 41 and 42. Let us type in 42. We'll click on the adjustment layer again and choose black and white. Then we are still going to do the same thing. Go to blend mode and change it to multiply. Reduce the opacity. We can take this to like minus 19. Let's say minus 19 should be okay. Let's just type in 19 or 20 there about. Let's say minus 20. Then I believe it's okay like this. Click on the adjustment layer icon again and choose selective color. So in this selective color, we'll click on this drop down and choose red. If you are taking the slider down, we we'll notice that we are having more red. It's becoming red-ish. But we don't want it to be that reddish. We want it to be a little bit reduced. If you check color balance panel, you notice that opposite of cyan is red. An opposite of magenta is green. An opposite of yellow is blue. If you are pulling this slider up to the positive side, that means you are adding cyan because cyan is written here. Then if you are bringing it back, that means you are adding red, which is supposed to be opposite of cyan. We have cyan here and if you pull it up, you are going to be adding cyan so you should know that if you are pushing it forward you are removing red and if you are bringing it backward you are adding red so we have to push it up a little to remove part of the red so i believe like plus five should be okay for us and for us to create more depth on this image to make it more 3d we can bring these blacks up if we bring it up, you notice the darker, the dark area will be darker. So thereby creating a creating dimension in the image. So we have to push these blacks up a little for this red to make it have some dark areas, which is dark to darken the red, to add black to the red. After doing for the red, you click on the drop down to select yellow. Then for this yellow, we are still going to do the same thing. We are going to, we are going to pull up the cyan a bit so as to increase the cyan to remove yellowness from it. Then the next thing we are going to be doing, we are not going to put yellow or remove yellow here. We can then we'll go to the blacks and darken the, the yellows, which we are going to pull down like this. Then we're going to pull it up. We are going to be pulling this black up to increase the intensity of the yellow to darken the yellow then this is what we have here we have to add brightness and contrast adjustment layer to increase the highlight we'll click on the adjustment layer icon then choose brightness and contrast 24 plus 24 for the brightness is okay and 7 is let's say um for the contrast for the contrast i believe like 20 is okay. Let's take 20 for the contrast. We have to close this. We click up the layer max of the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Use our control I to invert it. We have to pick up our brush. Make sure our foreground color is white and our background color is black. Then we'll paint on the face area so that it's not going to be affecting the clothes. So we have to paint on this. Let me take it to 100% flow and 100% opacity so as to bring it direct. So we have it this way. You just have to paint the entire skin on the face. Then 
then this neck area i can reduce your brush to take it in what we just did just to avoid adding this contrast to this clothing that she's putting on like all these highlights i like all this shine to make them shine more we have to to add shine to the areas that don't have to shine we click on the adjustment layer and choose curves and this time around you are not going to do anything here you can close this off click on the blend mode and choose choose screen double click on this adjustment layer to bring out the layer style boss and drag the slider of the underlying layer forward to the extent whereby we just need it on this forehead so we can just stop here and hold the alt and click on this angle to split them apart then you can drag it and split them apart to create a fine transition so as to get the shine right then we have it like this just hit ok make sure the layer mask is selected use your ctrl i to invert it and pick your brush to make sure your foreground color is white and your background color is black and increase or reduce your brush size to fit the area you want to paint then you can just paint in a little shine we can see add a little here just here like this i believe it's okay like this let's just see i think this image is okay like this it's okay like this okay let's place all of them in a group let's select the first one and choose the last one and use our control g to put them in a group this is before this is after this is before this is after yes that's amazing i believe that's it for today if you find it interesting helpful and useful let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped the area it has not and the area we need to improve on like i said earlier if you are new on this channel please do me a favor do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button not only by hitting that subscribe button also ring that notification bell so that i don't miss any of the next video thanks for watching today's video creative pool keep on creating please stay creative for now bye see you in the next video